Speak to Pfizer, though, just to, since it is in the news, just reported uh, sure. results. I mean, adding $50 billion of incremental revenue to a company, we've heard, you know, Pfizer's a, you know, not like Moderna, it's got a lot of other moving parts, and so it's not yep. as dependent, but there's been some multiple compression. I mean, that stock has not moved to the same extent you would think no. based on the way its business has improved. It, 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 what's it trading? I mean, it, it, at this point, the multiple is you know, it's, it's much cheaper eight, than it's eight, eight times. Eight times, yeah. why? It trades at eight times earnings. It's, yeah. Well, it trades at eight times, so does Bristol. And remember, Bristol did the sell gene acquisition. So what the market looks at is not the short-term next 12 to 24 months earnings, it's really what is the future of your pipeline and really what are we going to discount that at? So, in fact, it's kind of perverse if you look at it. When you get a low P.E., it means that the expectation is that E is going to go down and you're going to go back to a market multiple or 15 to 17 times earnings. So it's really going to be what is Pfizer going to talk about? One of the benefits of having kind of this, the, the, you know, uh, the vaccines for Pfizer is now they have a bulletproof balance sheet. So I think you can take solace in that, but you also have to say, what is the R&D for this company? What is it for Bristol? You know, why are these stocks trading at single digit multiples? Really because they're not getting credit and you have option value for the future. So I think there is some potential there because you do actually kind of have this moat of a balance sheet, but it's really a show me story because the market's expecting all the vaccines and all the antivirals to eventually end, and then, hey, what's going to this company going to be really be like? So society's gain it could be Pfizer's loss. I mean, it, 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 is the action in the stock almost telling us that, you know, that we're not going to be like this forever? Yeah. I mean, it's actually saying to you that we are going to be reopening and that, so two things. One is, we, we might not need your vaccines as much. And by the way, if we do, we're not going to be paying as much because now we've got other competitors out there and the demand is going to be such that the, the, all the governments in the world are going to actually put pressure on what you can charge because you do have Moderna and you have a few of the others. So you basically have discounted it. Now, if you get another, uh, you know, uh, we have another issue, then all of a sudden the demand comes really up in the six months. So it's it, it, it's really you know do you look to the future or do you say hey this company's just going to keep on producing what it's doing right now? 